Hello students, today we are going to start SQL. Before we learn SQL, we need to know few more things. Those are essential to learn SQL. Data. What is data? Data is nothing but a collection of facts, any kind of facts. And in this current digital era, our world is full of data. How is that? Nowadays, all of us are using smartphone, tablet, laptop, computers, and many more electronic gadgets. And in all these gadgets, we are using various kind of apps, softwares and different websites and most of the website or apps we use is full of data what kind of app are them they are very common like facebook Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Ola, Uber, Amazon, Flipkart, Big Basket, YouTube, even the banking apps or website like SBI, Bank of India, and many more. And how the use data or how they they are full of data let's consider facebook most of us use facebook how they store data in facebook they store data or what kind of data they store they store data about their user, user friends, user post, user likes, and many more things. Uh, all we know the how many options are there in Facebook, and for each and every option, they need to store data. For another example. SBI, it's a banking apps or banking sector, they used to store data about their customers or user, their accounts, account balance, and transactions, etc. etc. And these data are huge not a small amount of data. So how they store data? Or how these apps store data? They use database. What is database? Database is Nothing but a collection of data or collection of interrelated data. For example, let us consider a database for an educational institution. What can you store there? We can store personal records of students, teachers' data, financial data, data regarding different departments. The library data, etc. Now the thing is, the database not only store data, they also provide functionality for adding more data, modifying those data, manipulating those data, 
and accessing those data. And using this functionality, we can input some data in the database system and get our desired output. Okay. Now the thing is, these databases come in various forms, like relational, graphs, XML, JSON, etc. Some others are there. Now we can classify this form into broader type. One is relational and another is non-relational. And apart from relational type, all other type come under non-relational database. But among all other types, the most popular or most common and most widely used type is the relational database type. In most of the places, and most of the organization, relational database are used. And this is our primary concern. In relational database, data are stored in the form of table, which is called relation. Tables look like that, and in a table, we can see rows and columns which are used to organize the data. And each row represents a record which is called tuple. In a relational database or in a relation, each row of the table is called tuple. And the columns represent the properties or characteristic of those tuples or records is called attribute. And among those attributes, one or more attributes are used to construct a unique key to identify each record. Of the table. That means each entity. Which is called primary key. Let's consider a table called student which contains the personal details of student. Now here we can see that each row contains record for a particular student. Like 
row one contains the record for student named Rahul Bose. Row two is containing record for Akash Rai. Row three for Vijay Ghosh. Row four for Ankita Sen. And row five for Puja Nath. Each row is containing the properties or information for a particular student or particular record or particular entity. Right. And the columns like SID, S name date of birth, address, phone number. They are containing the properties or information recording those records. That is, that means all these records having these properties So SID, S name, date of birth, address, phone number, these are the attributes of those records or this table. And there are five rows or five records or five tuples in this table. And the table contains also five attributes. And here we are considering SID as primary key. Why SID? Because primary key must be unique for each and every record. by which we can identify each and every record of table uniquely. Now let's consider this table. Now, here the date of birth for Rahul Bose. So for Akash Roy and Pooja Dutt are same. And the address for Rahul Bose and Ankita Sen are same. Even it may occur that we found two students having the same name, two or more students having the same name, as well as two or more students having the same date of birth or same address. But we never found two students having the same student ID. Like our voter ID or Aadhaar card, all we have a unique ID number in those ID cards. So that's why we are considering the ID number as a primary key by which we can identify each and every record uniquely. But it may happen that we need to consider two or more attributes together to form a primary key. We'll consider such example later. So now we understand how data are essential and how to store data or organize data in relational database. Or 
okay but the question is how to use those data or how to interact with database because we have to give instruction to store access manipulate or modify the data in the database because without giving information machine does not perform a single job so we have to give instruction so we have to interact with the database but how can we give the instruction to the database here the term sql come so the solution is sql sql is used to interact with relational database now here i am using the term relational database yes i have already told that relational database is the most popular and most commonly used database and most of the cases we use relational so this is our primary concern and also true that sql cannot be used to interact with non relational database so right now this is not our concern we are talking about sql and this is also true that most of the cases or most widely used databases as relational database so we can access them using sql so relational database or relational database management system that is abbreviated as rdbms is the basis of sql and most of the model relational database systems such as oracle mysql ms sql server db2 ms access and many more they support sql so sometimes we also refer sql or sorry relational database as sql database so that's all for today see you on next class thank you for watching this video